the topic of um, how to take the information off of the Edison Argos box and put it onto a USB port, which is a one gig USB port, which I already have actually in, inserted into the USB uh, port on the back of the box. Okay, it's a very simple process. Simply uh, put it in. I have it um, in the box already, simply because I've just done the reverse of this process, which was taking information off the USB port and putting it onto the box. But it's a very, very straight process, straightforward process. Uh, we actually have, let's say, uploaded information onto our particular. Um, um, uh, 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 up onto the box already and we might want to uh, edit that information and then save it back onto the USB port. Uh, so what we do here is simply hit the menu button uh, and um, what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, arrow across until we get to the uh, I think it's the services menu no um, oh, okay the system menu we come down to uh, backup to USB so we simply come along here and do a backup and it says uh, it automatically generates the name for the backup. So we can see um, the first is BAK and then stroke uh, 2010 and 0413 is um, uh, the date, it's the 13th of April and then 0939 is the actual uh, time okay, of the day and uh, so it's a unique name given that particular file so if you're retrospectively looking back and saying I wanted to you access the file that I, a backup file that I made in particular day it, it's quite useful from that perspective so all you do is you come down to the backup here and press the backup menu here and uh, that's basically it then uh, it's just backup successful and that's it beginning to end uh, so if we actually exited out here now and went to our USB port here uh, so if I'll do the exit button here and I'll come to upgrade by USB, if we come along here, uh, we'll actually see that, that particular file uh, has been stored onto um, our file here. So we can see uh, 2010 0413. So we can actually, you know, which would be relatively pointless, upload this back onto the box. But more importantly, we could take that USB stick and bring it to the next box and use it to program that particular one. If you want to actually edit and change the name of that, what I normally do is to something more u useful. Um, uh, what I'd actually do is I'd take that USB stick, bring it, insert it into a computer and change the name of the file um, remotely on a PC. Uh, but, but you've got the basic gist of it here. So it's a very um, neat way of um, uh, backing up the information off your box. Uh, so you can actually, if you had a master box, you could, even if the master box was gone, you could still have the information on the stick to program the next box.